Jesus, 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 that is for my 
as the green herb. You know, when you go out there and you cut grass, and in one or two days, you go back out there, and that old grass, what you done cut, done died on top of that new grass, and it done will as the green herb. That's the way God let your enemy be. He said he'll make our enemy be our footstool. He'll make our enemy feel. Who got the power? He the man. Come on, Sister Jack. I don't want to get carried away before I get the call. <laughs> Trust in the Lord and do good. Do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be faithful. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. You see, we, we don't have to sit around and walk. We want because we want them all. Some things we want, we don't need, y'all. God will supply our every need. And we live right. He said, even some of your want. Some things we don't need. We ought to say, God, am I in your will? Do I need this? Or is this just one of my wants? Because you're going to want something one day, and the next day, you're gonna, your heart don't desire. Your heart done got on something. So when we ask God for something, make sure. Make sure that you want it. That's about lack of marriage. When you get married, you need to make sure that you know what you do. You need to make sure that I'm going to go through the thing and the thing. High waters and hell will not separate us. No matter what come or go, I'm going to stay there. So that's the way we ought to be with God. No matter no matter what come or go, why I'm serving you. Because I'm going to go through the thing and I'm going to go through the thing. Some days going to be good and some days but I'm going to stick with you, God. Because God, I have made a bargain with you. God, I'm here to stay. But we got to know who we serve. If we serve in man, or if we serve in God. God will take us through. He said, don't fret yourself. The enemy comes to steal and to kill. He comes to so difficult. But God say I'm a God of peace. And God, no matter what you're going through, God can bring a peace over you. God can put you in a place where when you thought that you couldn't go through. God will let you walk through hot cold. And let you walk through the valley. God heals y'all. He's the man. I used to hear Bishop say all the time. Him 
who prospered in his way. You see what I'm saying? People think they prosper. They name. They letting their name make them. They think that they got something. They feel like, yeah, if I got the name, I'm going to have more. But you have the name, you're going to have to put out more. If you're going to do what's right, you can't do what other people do. So sometimes, I always say, don't let the name make you, you make the name. But God, he want us to do what's right. He don't want us to be the borrower. But God want us to be the lender. If you do what's right, God will do what's right towards you. I'm telling you, he'll do what's right. He said, he wish we prosper and be better. He didn't say we won't get sick. He didn't say that you know I was sitting there the other night. And I said, Lord, I'm waiting on you to heal me from this cause. I said, but I got this lack of throne in my side. I said, I'm waiting on you to heal the throne. Sometimes we think that we're not going to go through. But God's going to let us go through. God's going to let us go through so we can help somebody else. I told a woman one day, I say, you going through it in your marriage. I said, but God wants you to go through it in that marriage so you can help other young women to stay with their husband. So sometimes uh, we'll leave our husband, uh, we'll leave our wife uh, over some foolish uh, when we can stay in uh, and work on it. Sometimes uh, the trial makes the marriage uh, better than it ever been. And that's the way it ought to be with God. Uh, I know y'all say I'm keep talking about marriage, but it, that's the way it is with God. When we go through a test, and we come back to God, and God give us that inner peace, and see like He rocking us, see like we got a peace of mind, see like He done got in the flesh, and that waiting on us no more. He want us to be like that about Him. When we come back to Him, He want to give us a peace of mind, and we, He want us to show that we love Him, that we appreciate Him. Because trials will make you strong. I've been through what you've been through. You've been through what I've been through. But whatever you've been through, God is taking and making you. He's drawing you. God will take the word. He'll draw you. You say, wonder why I'm doing this. Wonder why I'm doing that. Because God, God got a way of reaching down and picking you and making you. Jesus. But he tell us, don't fret ourselves. You know, we walk around in the church sometimes and we think about what one another think about. Well, you know, she didn't look at me right, son. Well, she went out the door and she didn't speak to me. You ought to let that be a growing stage for you. Yeah. See, now, Lord said, if she did, I don't want to be like that. God, I want to make sure I do everything right. Because you're looking down on me. But God letting us know what we can go through and God can make us. He make us. He take our trial and make us. Our enemy make us pray more, y'all. Oh, yes. It'll make us pray more. But God, if you keep your enemy close to you, don't push your enemy away from you. Set up a Hey, man. God is good. Yes, yes. Ellie. Ellie. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Titi, set up there. I guess I have my grandchildren next year. Amen. God is good. We got four generations in here today. You got me, my son, my grandchildren, and my great grand. Four generations. But God is good. God going to take our trial. And he gonna make us. Just remember that our enemy can't go no more than God led. Sometimes we look at the one around us. Sometimes we look at our children as our enemy. But God can make us through our children. Oh yeah, yes. Cause they ain't always gonna do 
what you want them to do. They're going to get sidetracked. Sometimes they won't hold on to their Jesus. But you still got to love. You still got to love. But every chance you get, still tell them the truth. Tell them the truth. Especially if they're in your house. You can't go in their house and do what you want. But if they come in your house, you tell them. You tell them what's right and what's wrong. And they they ain't gonna tell you why they did it, but just give them the word. Tell them that God said, "Don't fret yourself. Don't fret. If you get right and stay right, God will make your enemy your footstool." Come on, Sister Jack. Let me get that. Number eight says, "Cease from anger and forsake wrath." You see that? Okay, go ahead. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for evil doers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, though thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. You see that? No more. Your enemy ain't gonna be no more. No more. Just delight yourself in the Lord. Don't worry about what the enemy doing. Don't worry about it. Don't lose no sleep over your enemy. Whatever the problem is, take to God. And say, I'm going over here and I'm going to bed and I'm going to sleep. And I'm going to give you a good night's sleep. Because so God got this too. God got it. He said, won't be no more. Your enemy think he's going to take you down? God can blow him. And no more. No more. He know he can't be no more. God is in control. God can take your end and turn it around. Make your end your best friend. They'll do anything for it. See, sometimes people got to be your enemy before they can be your friend. So they got to get to know you and you got to get to know them. They don't know your way and you don't know their way. But God can take your end. And take a feed. Now that's something good to think about it. God can take my enemy and make him feed me. So he let me know I don't have to go home. I ain't got to go home. Cause my enemy has got more than enough. He got more than enough. Sometimes we worry about what the man out there got. I say, God, I'll buy them to have it so I can get some of it. I don't care where it comes from, Sister Ryan. Just buy it with me, long as you didn't steal. Long as you didn't steal. I'll spend the drug dealer money. I'll spend the money where they don't store liquor. Because you don't know who got the ABC store. And you spend the money. You don't know whether it belongs to the people that own the ABC store. The little rank of black dollars that you get sometimes. You don't know where they came from the drug push. You don't know where it come from. I'm going to bring it to the house of the Lord and do good with it. He said, do good. That's what we got to do. We got to do good. Now, when the church don't offer birds and food, and they owe some money on I'm talking about what I know because Mama Kane used to own that church. And the drug dealer went in there and paid it off for them. You talking about the old time way. I might just do a little talking here. The old time way. When the saints realized that somebody in that house was sick, the saints got together, got the groceries up. They went to that island. They cleaned that house up. They didn't throw that trash up. They cleaned that house up. They took some food with that and they cooked. They assured the children that they had clean clothes. They didn't talk about the children. If they had to go to the Salvation Army or go to a yard sale, they wouldn't got them children some clothes. Thank you for joining us here at Clinton Chapel of Praises Virtual Church. We prayed that a song that was sang, perhaps the sermon that was preached, or the lesson that was taught 
was a blessing to you and yours. You may not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, and we would like to take this time to extend him to you. The Bible declares that if you believe with your heart and confess with your mouth that God raised Christ from the dead, that you shall be saved. That's right, it's just that easy, believing and confessing. I would like to tell you that this way may not be easy. Therefore, we recommend that you find yourself a good Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church. There's strength among saints, and you cannot live this life by yourself. Now, I want you to do this for me. I want you to take a moment to pray to God. Some people say, I don't know how to pray, but it's just this simple. Just take time and have a small conversation with God and tell God that you're tired of the way you're living, you're tired of the things you're doing. And believe me, I promise you that this day will be the best day and it will begin a walk that you will never regret. I'm gonna pray for you now. Father, we thank you for that soul that has just chosen you to be their Lord and Savior. Father, we want you to do a new work within them, clean them, change them, and God, let them have the desire to further themselves with you. And God, we thank you and we love you and we know that all things and we get all things are done by you and through you and we give your name praise. And believe me, saints, now, the angels in heaven are rejoicing because you came to Christ. And not only are the angels rejoicing, but I and we here at Clinton Chapel are rejoicing along with you. Now listen to me. You take the Lord along with you everywhere you go. Shalom. You may join us here at Clinton Chapel of Praise for any of our services. Every Sunday at 9.45 a.m. we have Sunday school and 11 a.m. morning worship. Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. we have prayer and Bible study. And if you would like to donate, you may do so by cash app dollar sign CCOP Church. Thank you for worshiping with us.